Hey guys, I'm Edward. I want to thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Be sure to like the video if you like it, subscribe, and then hit the notification if you want to get a heads up on any videos that we do in the future. So this is going to be a quick walkthrough of the 2020 Hobie Outback. So we saw the redesign in this hull for 2019. So that's where we're at on this hull design right now. Got a little plane action, we'll give it a second there. All right, they shot by. So we'll do a quick rundown, guys. Um, there's a lot of 19 videos when this boat showed up, but we'll still give you some details and things like that. So as always, we've got a nice little T-carry handle on the front there. Moving down the bow, we're gonna see, oh, that's loud hatch here this is going to be gasketed both on the lower rim and the top of the hatch and you'll have some components that you'll see when you purchase that kayak this is going to be all your inserts for your running your wires mounting your transducers and then this is your cassette you want to make sure you always get this when you get the boat if you're using this kayak and you're not using the pedal drive you can drop this into that socket and that's going to keep you from losing flounder and cell phones and all that good stuff from there moving back we are going to see the sail mast so guys if i can open it there we go so there is a ram ball accessory that can go in that to mount things as well as items such as the bimini top and the sail the add-on sail all of those features are going to be available to drop into that port uh, moving right through the cockpit we're going to try and touch everything as we can we're going to see this rudder pull this is going to be to raise and deploy your rudder this side is going to be transducer so what this is going to do is we have that guardian system on there and this is what's going to actuate that guardian and bring that plate up into the hull a little bit to protect your uh, transducers flush mount rod holders up front we will now see a little tab on that uh on that little cap for that flush mount rod holder right there we'll see four of them on this kayak and then moving back in we are going to see some of the cooler features that we saw when they introduced this boat in 2019 is this assembly. So not only do we have a, a T-bolt tr accepting track on the gunnel, on the H-track, the H-rail that is on the inside here is also going to have the availability to put T-bolts. We have that H-track there as well. And we're going to go uh, front to back on this. We're going to have a tether. We can tie tools to that. We also have a set here. This bar is kind of thin. We can actually tie uh, hook tethers and different things there. Pliers and fish grips are gonna drop, or lip grip products, uh, bokas, all that stuff, are gonna drop down into here, and that's gonna be nice to hold. Again, we talked about the track, but another feature are these little tabs. So a bungee on there. That's gonna slip into the slot, and a tackle organizer can sit in here. There's a ridge, so we'll show you on this side here. There's a ridge right here. So when that tackle organizer goes in, it's gonna bump up against it. It's not gonna shoot out into the cockpit of the kayak. There are two of these to keep you nice and secure. Again, we will see the mesh pocket. And then on the 2020 guys, we're seeing that honeycomb pattern on that mesh, uh, that hookless pocket that we've got there. To the back, we have a duplication of the front. We've got a little bar here so we can clip on tethers. We have the lip or fish containment tools. We can drop those in there. You even have a slot where you can drop a little knife or bait knife or something like that. And again, with that tether, which is gonna have a nice good pull on it where we can hook some tools too if we don't wanna hook them into here. That will be duplicated across both sides of this kayak. We're gonna skip past the drive, guys. You guys are familiar with that. Check out the kick up drive uh, video. That's gonna give you the finer points of that kick up drive on uh, those 2020 boats where you can see those fins drop right back. So if you want some more detail on that, check out that video. Moving through, we are gonna see the little bungee that we've seen. That's a containment loop for your, uh, we call them tendons, but they're pulls. This is how we're gonna actuate that drive and forward and reverse. So we also saw the vertical set rectangular hatch. We'll pop that open. Again, it's got the nice little, little hookless pocket there with the uh, beverage op operator or opener, whatever you want to call it there. And they are including the rectangular bucket with that kayak. Um, got a little gasket around it, nice little setup. Um, another feature we're seeing are these nice, thick, oversized standing pads. So these are stock on the boat. 
these are going to be on that kayak when you get it we will see our pedal hook so when we want to run that boat in shallow water we pull that hook up to one of the pedal the crank arms hook it on and go to town cup holders we've got a large cup holder here with a flat bottom in it and then this large cup holder over here is going to have a step system in the bottom to allow it to maintain if you have a smaller beverage or something that you're stacking in there steering is dual so we're going to have steering on both sides of this kayak so those of you guys that have transferred from pro anglers to outbacks as of 19 and continuing in the 2020 you're going to have that dual steering that you're used to now this is a what everybody's considered and familiar with is a ct seat this is the ctw that was introduced last year it's going to be a little wider the way that seat bottom attaches to the frame is going to be a little bit different but again we are going to have our pull for our kickstand so we can adjust the height of that seat with nice ease from the chair and then also that pull where we have the versatility of adjusting the front of that seat as well Underneath, you're going to have your cover where your transducer and all that kind of comes through. We'll pop that real quick. So, oh, pull that out of the way. So you will see your through hole, your through port wiring set up here that's capable of running up to six, two, four, yeah, up to six wires. This cover goes down to the transducer plate, the Guardian system, and you'll see your side carry handles are now positioned underneath the seat, which will keep you from hanging up on them when you're in the kayak fishing and things like that with them being moved to the front. They did hold off. We still got these little recesses on each side of the hull. I know that's where I put a lot of baits when I take them off and drop them. The flush mount rod holders that we talked about, the four set, this is the stern ones. They're gonna be on each side of the hull here with the nice little cover caps. And then again, the plates that we talked about up front that had the H-track, the grab pieces so we can put a tackle box in there, the tool holders, the tether clips, we're gonna see that in the, back, in the back of this tank well as well, except instead of a piece of H-rail, we're gonna have a bungee there that we can tie into. Coming off to the back, we will have a cool little feature right here on the back that they're continuing with. Put this in there real quick. So you will have the availability of taking a bungee that is already on the boat, locking it in. You can put your wheels on there. The spacing of the carts is enough to still allow the mounting of a power pole unit so pull that out of the way um, this is going to be if you do the add-on sale this little clip is going to add a be allow you the availability sorry guys to uh, you can hook a little block there pull that sheet line to it this hub here is going to connect into the rudder system and then these little caps are going to cover the thread ports that are inserted in this boat if you want to do a power pole or a river stick mount all that kind of stuff you're ready to go or your torpedo ultralights so the loading block this gives us the availability to not damage our rudder while loading that boat if we want to pick it up sharp on and in and we will see make this up the drain plug is going to be all the way around on this side right up underneath the hull there so nice little spot and then what this loading block hooks into is a piece of H rail. We will see the rudder down underneath. So when that flips up, you can see where that loading block kind of comes into play, where it has that little space. So guys, with that said, the, uh, the 2020 Outback is still 12 foot nine inches long. It's gonna come in at about 34 inches wide. And then we're gonna bump, it's about 85 pounds. Um, without all the gear in it. So guys, we appreciate you tuning in. Again, that is the 2020 Hobie Outback. Cheers.